Herplunk. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have the SNES cartridge. Uh, Super Mario All-Stars or something. As you can see, the pins are quite filthy on the left-hand side. Whereas the right-hand side is much better, a lot cleaner looking. Now, how did I achieve this? Isopropyl? No. Faber-Castell eraser. Don't call it a rubber. It's a bit rude if you call it that. Oh, we were so innocent when we were children. Safe for children. That's good. So, use that. Scrub the uh, fingers. Golden fingers. And they will shine up beautifully. And you know what? You'll never have to blow on a cartridge again, unless your cartridge slot is completely filthy. But I'll have a video on how to clean those as well in the uh, near future. So let's have a look at the before and after. Before and after. Look at that. Isn't that just fantastic? You'd almost say it's golden. Is there gold? I don't know if they're actual gold. I don't know what they're made of. Metal. Something conductive anyway. But unfortunately, I can't show you it tested because my SNES decided to go one extra step and break completely. The one I'm having troubles with now is the one that had no sound earlier. So we've gone from no sound to no video, which I'll probably cover in an upcoming video. Um, just in case you don't remember, here's the SMIX chip that had exploded. As you can see, that's a pretty solid hole in the microchip preventing sound from being mixed, I suspect. So, unfortunately, that is not very good. But stay tuned, there will be a video on that. And uh, as for cleaning your cartridges, now you know how. Works on Mega Drive, SNES, SNES, uh, what's that other one, Master System, anything really. You just need to take the cartridge apart and give it a good clean. So if you have any questions, comments, or things, anything you want, just put it in the comments, or just like the video. Heck, just watch the video. But don't forget to subscribe, because you like videos. Thanks for watching.